the most incredible Dutch imports and inventions. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. I'm coming to you all the way from Brisbane, Australia. So far, I've been learning about the history of your country, your beautiful cities, your beautiful towns. Now I'm going to have a look at some inventions and imports that have come out of the Netherlands. Let's roll. From fire hoses to Vincent fire van Gogh, hoses? here are 15 wow. Dutch imports and inventions 15. to be thankful right. for. Number 15, the Olympic flame. So technically, yeah. The idea of the Olympic flame dates all the way back to the times of ancient Greece, where they kept a fire burning throughout the duration of the games. But the Olympic flame most of us are familiar with today is a tradition that goes as far back as 1928, which is much newer in relation to oh, everything okay. else. When designing an Olympic stadium in Amsterdam, architect Jan Wills had designed a tower for smoke to emit from. Cut to two Olympic games later in 1936 yeah. in Berlin, Germany, the tradition of the torch relay had begun. Number 14, That's really the cool. fire hose. The it's one of those hose? things people take for granted because, wow. let's be honest, who besides a brigade of firefighters ever even need a fire hose? But oh. that doesn't make this invention any less important. It's Rewind to the cool year 1673, cool back to when the first fire hose was ever designed and utilized. During the days of the Dutch Republic, Jan van der Heyden, along with his son Nicolas, had pretty much invented the first fire hose, which oh back gosh. then was made of leather. Number 13, Very cool. Mads Mikkelsen. One of the greatest international imports to have come out of the Netherlands is, of course, none other than actor Mads Mikkelsen. At 51 years old, Mikkelsen has had a career in film and television, known for his rather deep voice that's both mm -hmm. gruff and smooth. When Mikkelsen is in a movie, you always know it. Modern audiences hey, will be more familiar with him from the television series Hannibal, in which he starred as the infamous fictional villain Hannibal Lecter. Lately, however, audiences worldwide have seen Mikkelsen in two most recent blockbusters, one of the newest franchises from the Marvel Universe, Doctor Strange, and the other being the standalone Star Wars anthology film, Rogue mm -hmm. One. Number Rogue 12, one. The Telescope. The telescope the is telescope? another one of those things that have helped scientifically advance wow. human civilization to what we are knowledgeable of today. But since we are taught more about what telescopes has taught us rather than much about the telescope itself, here's a bit of true facts. This is Han cool. Lippershe was known as a maker of spectacles, or glasses, and is the one credited to have invented the earliest telescope. The first telescopes were said to have been made in the early 17th century oh. in 1608. However, there have been others who were said to have discovered telescopes, such That's as Zacharias really cool. Janssen and Jacob Matthias, both Dutch citizens as well. Mm -hmm. Number 11, the microscope. Not the so microscope. surprisingly, microscopes are also said to have been invented by the Dutch. It was in the Netherlands after all the telescopes were invented, so why not something similar? Again, Zacharias Janssen had claimed his father had invented not only the telescope, but the microscope as well. With so Han Lippershey also thing. being said to have had a hand in inventing microscopes, with some people saying it was really invented by Cornelius Drebbel, or even Galileo. So who actually came up with it? No one knows for sure. Only the prototype for what we know today as microscopes were apparently dated back to around the same time as the telescope had appeared. Wow. All in the Netherlands. Number 10, the eye test. The eye exam consists of that poster of letters uh, and numbers at the optometrist's office. Test. It's been a bit more modernized oh, nowadays, one. but you typically think of that huge letter E that sits oh. at the top of the typology that gets smaller and smaller the further down you move down the list. And yeah. you guessed it, that part of the eye test was invented by a Dutch ophthalmologist. Professor of ophthalmology, Herman Snellen, came up with the idea that would eventually become the eye test. Okay, oh my gosh, the telescope, the microscope. The eye test. Oh, man, with my dodgy eye, I go in for this eye test all the time. Cool actors. Cheese. The Netherlands have beautiful cities, beautiful towns, great inventions, awesome actors. I'm absolutely loving this video. It is so amazing. Nine. Oli Bolin. Similar to the smoothie bowl and dessert from Belgium, oh, Oli Bolin are scoops of dough that are deep fried. So pretty oh. much, it's what a lot of people would call a donut <laughs> hole. Just way Deep better. Just donut. look at that doughy goodness with powdered sugar on top. Yum. Sometimes the best things in life are the simplest. What's more is that the Netherlands is often cited as the place where donuts were invented. Though there's okay. been some debate about that too. Oh, yeah. Number 8. Speed cameras. The history oh. of what many would call the speed camera goes as far back as the start of the camera itself. Speed it was cameras. first conceived around 1908. Though it was later that century in 1958 that Dutch company Gastometer BV actually produced what would be considered the first speed camera so that Maurice Gastonitis, a rally driver, could better look over the average speeds going down his racetrack. Yeah, now you okay. can see speed cameras on every corner, watching everything They're you do in Australia, on the road. Everywhere. Number and seven, so they should submarine. Be. 
Back in 1620, Dutch inventor Cornelius van Drebbel is said to be the first to build a submarine. It probably looked pretty different to the hunks of metal you think of submarines looking like today, as van Drebbel made his submarines using a rowboat made of wood wrapped in leather. That Plus, is so cool. Plus, since it was cool. the early 17th century, there wasn't an electrical engine to power it, which of course means operators had to row it underwater. Number 6. Electric Ladyland in Amsterdam You've probably never experienced anything like the Electric Ladyland Museum in Amsterdam. What is Claiming this? to be the world's only fluorescent museum of its kind, it's definitely worlds apart from your local natural history museum. Black lights help set the scenery, since when they come on, patrons are able to be immersed in the colorful, dreamlike rooms. Okay, Electric Ladyland. I'm not quite too sure what that is. Guys, jump on let me know. Um, the submarine. What a really, really cool invention. It's crazy to think that it was made from wood and leather and what the people on the inside had to swing the handles and row the handles to make it to work. That's absolutely fascinating. Speed cameras. Mate, they are everywhere in Australia and I believe they should be. If you're doing the wrong thing, if you are driving too fast, you could cause an accident and so on. So yeah, but yes, they are everywhere. And they not only get you for speeding now, they get you for like using your mobile phone and all those things. So yeah, I'm finding this really, really fascinating. Loving this video. Thanks the Dutch for the awesome things. I love those deep fried donuts. Thank you very much for those. I have haggle slag. Haggle Similar slag. to fairy bread that is said to have originated fairy in bread. Australia, That's the Dutch mine. have their own version of sprinkles on bread okay. in the form of haggle slag. Chocolate sprinkles spread on white bread. Oh. Yum, yum. Created by Gerard de Vries in 1936, <laughs> Hagelslag has risen to popularity in the Netherlands I ever could try since. that. And it's a pretty simple concept. Yeah. Yet full of satisfaction and sweetness. Chocolate Number sprinkles. Four, same super as fairy bread. I'm trying that. On top of all the things you didn't know were either invented in the Netherlands or were specialized there, also count an elegant super yacht. Oh, Being super located yachts. in the North Sea means that the wow. Dutch have always had lots of time to specialize in ships, mainly super yachts. No, wow. that isn't a misplaced cruise ship. It's Symphony, a feed ship super yacht built in the Netherlands. For a while, it was known under the name of Project 808 until, quite appropriately, officially named as Symphony. Here it is being transported across the Gouda Railway. Maybe one day we'll save up enough to take a cruise on the ocean yeah, in one of these things. People own Number those three, things. Can Vincent to own Van Gogh. Those things. Mocked during his time, Vincent van Gogh ended up being one of the most famous and prolific of artists ever. The 19th century painter was often said to be mad while his landscapes, still lives, and self-portraits appeared like swirls of reality. Mm -hmm. But it was this style that would be his defining look that would later be beloved by many. The Dutch artist is one of Beautiful. the most iconic painters of all time, having painted the likes of his famous self-portraits in 1889 based with 15 sunflowers in 1888, and perhaps his most famous, yes. Starry Night, in Starry 1889. Night. We know that one. Number two, Bluetooth. Dutch Bluetooth. electrical engineer Dr. Jap nice. Hartson is known for the invention of what has been dubbed as Bluetooth. It was while he was working for Ericsson, a Dutch company that specializes in telecommunications equipment in oh, the no, early Ericsson to mid 90s that Hartson designed what would later become Bluetooth. Without Hartson, we wouldn't have the wireless exchange standard we use so frequently. So think of that the next time you're connecting the so music from your phone to chat out you in your guys call. Created Number one, Wi-Fi. Cool. A man known as Victor Hayes is often referred to as the father of Wi-Fi. And it is him, along with those working in the IEEE 80211 group oh. that worked on the wireless local area networks in the Netherlands, that we have to thank for what helps many of us do our jobs and saves us from boredom. Named as a pun on the phrase hi-fi and the word wireless, the precursor to Wi-Fi was brought to the world in 1997. And the Wi-Fi we know today would not have been possible without the contributions of that group chaired mm -hmm. by Hayes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought Wi-Fi was an Australian invention. Maybe it was a collaboration with that man. Oh my gosh, that was a fantastic video. I'm learning so much about the Dutch, about the Netherlands. It's super fun. I'm having a great time. Um, the one thing that I'm really, really fascinated in and I will be able to try is your chocolate sprinkle bread. It's very similar to fairy bread that we have here in Australia. We've got a few similarities already, man. This is fantastic. I'm so excited to learn more. That was the video for today. If you enjoyed it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers to Nananda. Take care. Bye.